Relaxing our shoulders. Relaxing the body. And paying attention to the breath coming in by paying attention to the nostrils or by placing the hand on the chest, on the heart, heart area. And noticing the touch of the hand on the chest. And experiencing the slight rising and falling of the chest. Breath comes in, the chest rises. Breath goes out, the chest falls. This is the way my body is receiving the breath at the moment. So bringing us all here and now, Align to our body, paying attention to the breath, the most essential part of our existence, our glorious breath. Hmm. And today we are going to do a meditation to see if we can cultivate non-attachment to the various emotional issues we just talked about. Relationship issues, financial issues, job related issues or body health or body image issues. Any one of these issues. Allowing yourself to bring one of these issues to your mind, if that's okay. If it becomes too overwhelming, give yourself permission to move away from this meditation. And you can just simply watch your breath. But if it is okay to look at one of these issues, Please allow yourself to do so. And allow yourself to notice the emotions, the feelings that come to your mind when you're thinking about this issue. Is it unpleasant? Noticing the unpleasant emotions or state of the mind that arises when we are thinking about an issue. Something that is not very pleasant. Something that is creating discontent, may even be misery. It may be high intensity, may be low intensity. Noticing the feelings that are coming to us because of allowing ourselves to think about this issue. If your mind is wandering around, that's okay. That's the nature of the mind. So gently bringing the mind back to looking at our feeling state, feeling state of our mind.
and recognizing the emotions and feelings. What are they exactly? Recognizing them. Frustration, disappointment, anger, anxiety, worry, restlessness. Helplessness. Allowing these emotions to be there. See if it is okay to allow these emotions, unpleasant emotions to be there. Look at these emotions and what are they doing to you? What are they doing to us? Looking at these emotions closely, these emotions and feelings are bringing thoughts. Maybe a feeling, feeling of being flooded or a wish that this just goes away, this just disappears, this gets solved right away. Whatever is coming to the mind, just noticing it. A wish that this gets fixed. If it is for another person, then the wish that this person just does one, two, three, or whatever it is that you wish they could be doing. Whatever the thoughts are, noticing those thoughts recognizing and noticing these thoughts. It's okay to feel it. Know that it's okay to feel it. It's okay to feel the unpleasantness just for this moment, just for these few moments. Instead of pushing them away, is it okay to allow them to be there? You may feel the feelings in your guts. You may feel the feelings in your body. So noticing if your body is reacting to these feelings and emotions. If we can notice it, the body is feeling or reacting to the emotions, but is it possible to notice what's going on with the body? Is there any tough spot in the body? Is the heart racing, head feels full, or is there any tingling? Hands get cold, shoulders feel tight, the back hurts. Anything that you notice in the body, paying attention to that, noticing that. It may or may not be directly related to the feelings. 
However, if it is there to notice that, the feelings may increase or decrease the intensity of the physical feelings. And so noticing the body and how the body is taking this feeling. Wandering mind, bringing it back, back to the body, noticing the body and noticing the feeling state of the mind. How is it? How is the unpleasantness showing up in the mind and in the body? When we are thinking about an issue that is creating discontent or even misery, Allowing yourself to feel it, completely feel it as much as you're able to in the moment. And now that we have allowed ourselves to feel it, is it possible to switch the mode to observing mode, simply observing? Is it possible to remove yourself psychologically, creating some distance and watching it? You are simply observing the feelings that are coming. So first, we allowed the feelings to be there. We allowed them to be felt, noticing the feelings in the mind and the body. And then we are switching to observing mode. This is how it feels like in the moment. Saying that to yourself, this is how it feels like in this moment. This is how stress feels like in this body. This is like... This is what anger or whatever feeling you're feeling, saying that to yourself, this is how it feels like in the body. Stress, frustration, worry, anger, disappointment, helplessness, whatever it is, this is how it feels like in this moment, in this body. Nothing more, nothing less. This is how it is at this moment.
if the feeling is sticking like crazy glue and you're not able to run, go, you're not able to let go of the stickiness, then that is attachment. If it becomes crazy glue, then that's attachment. If it is possible to just simply observe it, allow it to be there, but simply observe it. That is about letting go. And simply observing that this is how it feels like at the moment. And then saying to yourself, this is life. At the moment, this is what is bugging me, bothering me, disturbing me. This is life. I'm not the first one, not the last one to experience these feelings. We are all in the same boat. And it may not be exactly the same boat, but even in your boat, there are other people experiencing almost the same thing that you may be experiencing. We all know how it feels like to experience discontent and misery. So calming the heart, calming the heart, letting go of the attachment, seeing yourself letting go of the attachment, which is the crazy glue to make it into this is life, to be able to view it and experience it minus the misery. Taking a pause, calming yourself, simply observing. This is life. And I'll figure it out. Knowing that everything is changing. This is going to pass to absolutely knowing this internally as one of the truths in life. Once we identify what is it that we want to let go of, then it is easier to let go of it. Is it the self-image? Is it the hurt pride? Is it that we can't fix it? Which again comes back to self. Is it expectations to be perfect or recognition that we are perfect? And if it is anything to do with the self-image, then that's the crazy glue you want to let go of. It's okay, we are not perfect. It's okay to be imperfect. It's okay to make mistakes. And it's okay to admit it. It's okay not to be able to fix everything. It's okay not to be understood by everybody. To know that this, whatever it is that you're thinking about is not the whole thing about you. We have different aspects to who we are. 
if one aspect is not understood, is not able to do things, that's okay. We have other things in our life, in our personality, in who we are. Not me, not mine, not the complete me. Is it possible to hold ourselves instead of expecting someone else to hold us? Is it possible to hold ourselves? Knowing that is it, it's okay to make mistakes. This is not the whole of me. I don't need to be approved and liked by everybody. That is life. Looking at the body and relaxing the body. The tough spots in the body, breathing into them and relaxing them. And now the next step is, is it possible to develop loving awareness of ourselves, whatever it is that we are going through, to develop loving awareness of ourselves? Knowing that we are doing our best. knowing that we are trying to figure it out. And if it involves another person, is it possible to hold the other person in loving awareness, recognizing their pain and wishing them well? loving awareness first for ourselves and then for the other if there is someone involved in your discontent. And now, again, looking at the issue and noticing if the intensity has gone down. So we allowed ourselves to feel it. Then we observed it. We created distance. We watched it. We recognize the crazy glue. We created the awareness for what the crazy glue was about and allowed it to not become a crazy glue, let go, let go. Not worth it to hold on to it, knowing all different aspects of it and then created loving awareness for ourselves, 
and for the other person if there was any. Allow yourself to stay in the loving awareness if possible. Loving our awareness for yourself, knowing that this will pass too and I will figure it out. It's going to happen. And taking a few deep breaths to get ready to leave this meditation. Taking a few deep breaths. And with each breath, noticing the nourishment that's coming to our body. Hmm. Noticing the nourishment. And getting ready to leave this meditation. By saying the line three times to yourself. Breathing in, I smile. Breathing out, this moment is okay. Breathing in, I smile, this moment is okay. Breathing in, I smile. Breathing out, this moment is okay. Breathing in, I smile, 